Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be about dental explorers. So what is a dental explorer? Basically, it is a diagnostic instrument which we use in our routine dental procedures and it's come into the uses of the dental explorer. It is chiefly used in the evaluation of dental caries or dental decay, calculus, supragingival or subgingival calculus, checking the marginal fit of the restoration and looking for various other abnorma abnormalities that are present in the oral cavity. Now let's quickly take a look at the parts of a dental explorer. So basically a dental explorer has three parts. One is the handle as you can see here. The handle is a straight portion, this portion. So it could either be plain or serrated. As you can see uh, here I have a serrated uh, dental explorer. So obviously the serrations help in you know holding a firm grip and uh, allows more uh, friction to the hand so that it does not slip away. Uh, that uh, is not present in the plain explorer. Okay now the second part is the shank. This is the shank. It is usually the curved portion. Okay as you can see here this is the shank. And here I have one more. See, this portion is the sham. Okay. So basically, it makes some angulation with the handle. Okay. And now coming towards the third part, that is the working tip. The working tip is the sharpest point at the end of the dental explorer. Here you can see this. This is the straight one. And here. And here as well. Okay, and uh, it could also be of two types like as you can see here this is a single ended instrument okay so in a single ended instrument only one shank is present the rest uh, the last end is usually blunt and in a double ended explorer you can see there are two working tips present okay here is just one working tip and here you have two working tips okay now usually there are three types of uh, dental explorers that we use in a common routine dental procedures so the first one is the straight explorer the straight explorer has a shank which is perpendicular to the handle of the instrument so, and the shape you can see the uh, the shank is usually straight okay so this is the straight explorer. The second type of explorer is the chef also or curved explorer as you can see or arch explorer. It has a curved shank. This is also called a semi lunar shape and that is why its name is curved explorer. Okay. And uh, the third type is interproximal explorer. You can see the shape here. This is the interproximal explorer. This is also known as Briard explorer or back action probe. Okay. And there is one more uh, explorer which I do not have here. That is known as pintail explorer. It is same as the Sheffield hook explorer, same shape, but only difference is in the size. Like here, you can see this has a uh, more area but uh, in pigtail this uh, the shank is little smaller but the shape is almost similar to the shepherd sock i hope you like my video so if you like my video so please do like and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much